And uh, to me, this is the perfect beginning for a weird story. It is a very strange place, said Amberville, but I scarcely know how to convey the impression it made upon me. It will all sound so simple and ordinary. There is nothing but a sedgy meadow surrounded on three sides by slopes of yellow pine. A dreary little stream flows in from the open end to lose itself in a cold sack of cattails and boggy ground. The stream, running slowly and more slowly, forms a stagnant pool of some extent from which several sickly-looking alders seem to fling themselves backwards as if unwilling to approach it. A dead willow leads over the pool, tangling its wan, skeleton-like reflections in the green scum that mottles the water. There are no blackbirds, no kildees, no dragonflies even such as one usually finds in a place of that sort. It is all silent and desolate. The spot is evil. It is unholy in a way that I simply can't describe. I was compelled to make a drawing of it, almost against my will, since anything so outré is hardly in my line. In fact, I made two drawings. I'll show them to you if you like. I mean, what a perfect beginning for a weird story. It, it, you know, it sets up that this place is very strange. It's so strange the guy can't really describe, even though he he goes on to describe, you know, how it affects him and and he paints he paints the image of it. Um, I just think I just and the story continues in that vein, and it's just really, it's just it's a haunting story. It's a creepy story. And it's uh, it's great. Smith had a great sense of place, and uh, yeah, he was a genius, darling. <laughs> <laughs>